We never talk about beautiful knees, but when they hurt, life can be pretty ugly. The knee just happens to be at the forefront of technology to fix all of our aching joints. And tonight, Dr. Kim Mulvihill continues her series on the beautiful science of tissue engineering. There's actually a pretty good sized flap of it. Stay steady. It may not look like the delicate surgery we're used to seeing in TV dramas, but in fact, you could say this operation is at the pounding edge of medical science. More on that in a moment. But first, let's meet two people who desperately needed help. In high school, I raced motorcycles. I had a ski accident. Patty Battersby and Henry Marks both lost the cartilage in their knees, the cushion that keeps bone from rubbing against bone. I had a lot of swelling and a lot of pain. I was scared. I wasn't going to be able to walk. Hello. Good to see you. The best that doctors could offer were pain pills or a new but fragile artificial knee. Orthopedic surgeon Kevin Stone of San Francisco says that wasn't strong enough for active people like Patty and Henry. The patients who come to see me say, Doc, I really want to keep running, or I really want to ski hard, or I want to keep playing tennis. And isn't there something you can put in my knee that would permit me to do that? So Dr. Stone started experimenting with tissue engineering, the science of using a patient's own cells to rebuild their damaged body parts. You can see it's torn here in the back of the knee. In his pioneering surgery, he chisels pieces of cartilage from deep inside the knee, where it's not critically needed, and then pounds the cartilage into small pieces to make a gluey paste. The paste is then forced into holes drilled on the knee's bony surface, like planting plugs of new grass on a dead lawn. The result is that the body is tricked into growing new cartilage to cover the raw bones. The biggest advantage to biologic tissues is that the repair tissue has live cells in it, the patient's own cells. Biologic tissues have the advantage of evolution. And so for millions of years, the biologic function or biologic format of those tissues has permitted running, jumping, skiing impact. It's been miraculous. I can ski now, I can play golf, I can bike, I can hike, and I'm pain free and I don't have swelling. I'm back doing things I know the other doctors didn't think I would ever be able to do. But knees are only the beginning. Doctors hope eventually to use tissue engineering for other damaged joints like hips, shoulders, and elbows. It's not saving a life. It's not life-threatening, but it's quality of life. My quality of life has changed dramatically because of this procedure. Dr. Kim Mulvihill, CBS 5 Health Watch. The new cartilage is not 100% brand new, but doctors expect to refine the technique to achieve that goal sometime in the future. For more on human tissue engineering, tune in tomorrow night for 30 Minutes Bay Area, a local news magazine show created by Don Hewitt of 60 Minutes. 30 Minutes Bay Area airs tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. right here on CBS 5. That is fascinating. Mm -hmm. it's, kind of what, it's kind of what Lawrence does with the weather. He crunches a bunch of stuff. It's a weather there. engineer. But it all comes out with this wonderful thing. And I came out with a pretty good thing today. Okay. I mean, we had a lot of sunshine out there today. And it looks like that trend's going to continue.